In India, betel leaves as well as nuts are offered to guests as courtesy. You might be surprised to know that the heart-shaped, smooth, shining and long-stalked betel leaves have numerous health benefits since ancient times. Betel leaves has been used as an aromatic stimulant and anti-flatulant. Apart from being served as a mouth freshener, betel leaf is also used as an aphrodisiac. Betel leaves contain many health benefits, curative and healing properties. It contains vitamins such as vitamin C, thiamine, niacin, riboflavin and carotene. It is also a good source of calcium. Betel leaves effectively treats wounds. Grind the leaves, extract the juice, apply on the wounds. Wrap a betel leaf and bandage the wound. There is archaeological evidence that the betel leaves have been chewed along with the arica nut since very ancient times. It is not known when these two different stimulant substances were first put together. Betel leaves are used as a stimulant, an antiseptic, and a breathe freshener, whereas arica nut was considered as aphrodisiac. The most common uses for this leaves is as a genital wash, not by men, but by women. Indonesian women use it widely after giving birth, and they do so explicitly to make their husbands happier. Betel leaves cause genital shrinkage in women, as well as genital dryness. For women in their late 20s and 30s, the problem is not so much vaginal dryness but vaginal wetness, which can cause itchiness and odor. So they boiled the leaves and use it for genital wash. Betel leaf contains eugenol which has antifungal properties. With this antifungal property, betel leaf can be used to inhibit yeast growth and development stem cells from candida albicans as a cough remedy. Boil 15 betel leaves with 3 cups of water until the remaining 3 quarters water. Drink boiled water by adding 1 tablespoon of honey, do it until the cough is gone.